My expectations are up here. That's where I want. Your effort is here. To be successful, you got to be here. Anywhere in here? Boom! That's going to be you. Get there and that's my expectations. On the break. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We block on our way up, right? We step, punch, step, step, right? And block on our way out. And we, and we try to lose them to the inside. Sometimes a guy has outside on you. Don't try to, don't try to lose them to the inside. Let's get a break. We'll see you up there. Homer, go be Homer. Go three, one, two, three. Homer! Well, we have high expectations this year. Obviously, uh, last year was the blueprint for the things that we want to do. Have a, a year under our belt. Uh, we've, we've gone a long way to, to fix the things that needed to be fixed around here, uh, starting with uh, new locker room, new uniforms, new helmets, new way of doing everything. So uh, I think we've laid the groundwork. I think, uh, you know, we're really excited about this season. You know, no coach has ever ha has a record above 500. The, uh, the, they've, they've made a playoffs four times in the last 25 years. So, I mean, it, it's just, you know, out with the old and in with the new. You know what, uh, you dropped your mouthpiece, but I'm starting to really like you. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> I think it was just the, the, the stigma of, hey, there's this great coach coming through and we got to really step up our game. Wow. So far, so good, right? Yeah, by far. Doesn't matter. Thanks for thanks for spotting it though. You're the man. Well, last year, you know, we all just kind of came in, like came into the fire, and then no one really had a the best idea of the offense and the defense and how things worked around here. So now we have that whole year under our belt. So uh, from progressing from now until the next years to come, we're only going to go uphill. Can we go faster? There's no reason for you to slow it down. We're on the ball. We're ready to go. Red eight, red eight, ready. Let's go. We've got some more kids in and we've fixed a lot of things that we did bad last year. So I think this year, hopefully we come and get a better season than we did last year. Don't hesitate. Full speed on that corner. Caden, Caden, that's the corner's yours. Go, stop going half speed and run. Come on, man. Uh, I think because we have a good bond now more than last year, honestly, I think it's going to be better for us and more momentum going forward into the season than last year. So I think, I think we're on the right path. You're still going to take that uh, forward progressive step and then come back around into that A gap. So we got to make sure we sell it. We got to get this guy, force him outside, boom, step, come back across into the A. Mike goes off the edge. So I never go over, up and over shoulder pads. Yeah. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to go the, around the shoulder pads. Does that make sense? Why? Because if I try to go up over shoulder pads, look at, that's it. So I want to pull and then go around the pads, yeah. Well, I think, you know, it always starts with the quarterback position, and we've got two outstanding quarterbacks here. We have uh, Jack Applegate, who uh, is a returning junior starter for us, and we have uh, Travis Throckmorton, who just came here from Oaks Christian, and those two kids have battled it out, one being uh, Jack being a junior and uh, Travis being a sophomore. You know, those guys, as, as, as the quarterbacks of the program, I'm you know, really happy and excited about them. So we're splitting time right now. Um, during the game on Friday, we're going to both go in. Um, and then we'll just see what happens from there. I'm more of a playmaker when, the, when things fall apart. I could always make a play. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good running quarterback. I'm fast and I run hard. And uh, I could throw accurate, throw on the run accurate. I have a strong arm. You know, then you go to uh, Malik Hunt, our wide receiver, uh, you know, arguably one of the, one of the most elusive uh, players in the county. Uh, had had uh, over 600 yards receiving as a as a sophomore. He enters his junior year, so uh, he's also can play some defensive back. He returns kicks for us. He's he's electrifying when he gets the ball in his hands. Uh, uh, fearless in, in in the opportunities that he has on special teams, and uh, you know those are things that uh, you just can't teach. Also at corner, I'm quick, so it's pretty hard for receivers to get away from me because 
I'm a receiver myself, so I know what their intentions are. Logan Reeder, uh, our left tackle, he was a defensive lineman last year. We've moved him over to left tackle. He's got the size, the length, and the speed that I like at left tackle at six foot five, 240 pounds. He's, 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 uh, he's going to be dynamic that position. Yeah, I like to lead by example. That's my main thing. Whenever it's like someone catches me doing something wrong, I'm right on and I fix myself, fix my attitude. Damian Hartz, our defensive tackle, um, was a, a, an all-league guy last year. He's got great size and has great work ethic, and we're really excited about him as a defensive lineman. What are team expectations? Oh, we want to go to state and get a ring. Pretty high. Yeah. Out here in practice, I, I, I'm not jumping in helping you now. Do it. I, you know, we, we're two days from game time. Do it. It's you. Your mommy's not here to take care of you. Your daddy's aren't here to take care of you. The coach can't take care of you. There you go. Physical game for physical guys. That guy wants to physically dominate you. Here he comes. Are you ready? Do you know what you're going to do? Visualize yourself being successful. Visualize the game. Be ready to go. Play, take care of your brothers. Okay, we will see you tomorrow. Get a break. Let's go, brother. Family on three. Brotherhood on six. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Brotherhood.